everyone. Two months later, <laughs> my weekly vlogs um, were on a bit of a pause for January and February. They were always going to be on a pause for January because that's when I did the Learn to Knit online course and I was doing them daily and I just thought it'd be a bit too much to have me chatting to you daily about the Learn to Knit and then doing a weekly vlog. So they were paused for January. I left you wanting more. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Because um, I was halfway through explaining the designs or showing you the designs that I did for 2023. Um, and so I will show you the rest of those today and today in this video, in this YouTube, um, in this Instagram reel wherever you're watching it so yes and so february i don't know what happened to february february just whoop, whoop. and here we are in march and this will be going out in the second week of march hopefully i'll be back to doing weekly vlogs because i miss them they are such fun to do and they help me keep on top of everything because when you run uh, when you're a handknit designer and you're running your own independent retail establishment <laughs> or a local a yarn shop, um, it's really tricky to keep on top of everything. There's always something that needs your attention. Oh, as well as the website. So website, bricks and mortar, yarn shop and designing. So there's always lots to be occupying my time. And the thing that I love the most, which is knitting and designing, is always last on my list. That's the way it goes. So I'm going to hopefully try and put it to first on my list this year, this month, this year. So where were we up to? If you're obviously watching this on YouTube or at a later date on Instagram, there's not going to be a gap of two months. So you're going to know exactly what I've just talked about in the last reel, in the last weekly vlog reel. I had to rewatch it, which, yes, <laughs> it's interesting. So, oh, and I've lost the, I've put the list somewhere. Ah, found it. So we got up in the last vlog, we got up to May and August. Oh, it was August. I changed it to May. <laughs> ah, yes, um, thinking out loud. So we got up to August. Ignore that. Uh, so now I'm going to continue with September through to up, December. September through to December. Oh, see, I don't edit these. I put these out as I do them. This one I really should start again and do it again. But I'm not going to. No, we should continue. So, um, these are a continuation of the designs that I did in 2023 going from September through to December. The reason why I just launched out with October then is because in the months September through to December as I didn't do any well launch any designs in October and November just in September and December. So head went into overload and I just October. <laughs> So, uh, September in Skipton is Yarn Down month. And the end, last week of September is the Yarn Down Wool Festival, which is held at the Skipton Auction Mart in Pens, where they usually keep the animals and is dead for that weekend only. There's lots of gorgeous yarn. And each year I always design something new for Yarn Down to launch it. Yarn Down. How many times can I say yarn down? And this year I designed these. So this is the tank top, the Yemen tank top. I love this tank top. It is so easy to do. So many people that come into the um, studio also love it. And they're like, oh no, but it's gonna be complicated. No, it's not complicated. It's really simple. If you can stripe, then this is a really simple one to do. So it's just two rows knit and then slip one knit one so two rows knit in this time it's the oatmeal and then two rows 
knit um, in the pen bang, which is knit one, slip one. So the this is two rows knit, guard stitch, and this pattern that you do is slip one, knit one. And it looks like you're using two colours in the row, but you're not, you're only using one colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Just such a, a soothing knit. I love it. Anyway, I'm running out of time. Um, I did a hat version and a scarf version because um, I can say it's easy. And then people just look at me like I'm not speaking the truth. It is easy. And you can start off with a hat and or scarf. So you can see how easy, easy it is without feeling the commitment of a jumper. This one, love this one too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I love your designs match. I do. I love them. And I always want you to love them too. Just, um, I design them and write the patterns and lay out the patterns so they're simple and easy for you to follow. So you can fall in love with them too and enjoy them. Um, so this one I wore in the last episode eight. Oh, I didn't do episode nine at the beginning of this. Oh, this is what happens when I don't do it for two months. <laughs> this is episode nine. Um, so this one I did in two versions. We have knitted in pieces and knitted in the round. So that is knitted in the round to there. You split to do the pattern and then you pick up the stitches and knit down on the sleeves. Um, when knitting in the round, I have done another jumper for a child, which is called the Shelby, I think. And I had just a few people, just a couple of people come back and say that when they knit in the rounds and then they split, so they go from all knit to then knit and purl, the tension was different and it looked different. So I had that in my mind for when I designed this, so that when this is all knitted in the round, but when you come to split, you have a different texture on there. So if you do happen to have a different tension or it looks different because you're bringing pearl in, you're not going to notice on this. And then the interesting thing about this is on the internet, this is a very popular one to download. And in the shop, people buy this one. So pieces in the round. Which one do you like? I have to do a poll. <laughs> and then Sam. Now Sam is um, reverse stocking stitch and this one super 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 popular with people that come into the studio. Absolutely love it. I will probably, uh, I don't know how often this one just walks out of the shop but online yet yet <laughs> it might be the way it's photographed maybe and you have to see it in real life or it just might be something that when people buy things online they're looking for different things but yeah this simple easy throw over jumper is loved is loved in real life maybe that's a bit like life <laughs> sometimes maybe it is sometimes things look better yes <laughs> no oh i'm not gonna not gonna continue about catfishing and all the rest of it anyway <laughs> that was september now we are moving in to december so nothing in october and november um probably recovering from yonder it was absolutely super <laughs> but in december i did the tom jumper and the super space hat this is knitted from the top down so you can knit this for as long as you want so you can have a short one or a long one this one is in pieces and this is another popular one i designed it for the gentleman but it can be um worn by anyone a, a few lady lady knitters have bought it for themselves and then i've run out of time and i was gonna do what's on my needles what's on your needles today do, 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 do. um so quickly really quickly I finished ooh, knitting these pieces, need to sew it up, and I did this. This is top down, need to get a pattern written for this, and I've also got a vest top on my needles, which is not here because I knit that at home. 
So those are three things that I need to complete. So sew up that. Oh, I'm over the 10 minutes. Oh no. Sew up that and then get this pattern written. Okay. I like to keep these within 10 minutes and that's not happened. Oh, I'm back and I'm going to go now. <laughs> this video i'm back and uh yes next week we'll have another vlog and see what i've got up to have a good week have a good week everyone <laughs> bye